Hello Vue users, Alex C, Vue Guide, and today we're gonna talk about IV Generator. One of the comments that I got from uh, my fellow architects is that it's not enough green and not enough eco-friendly, this whole uh, front construction. So I thought it's a good way to take it to the IV Generator and fill it up with nice green vegetation. That way it will feel more organic and uh, more implemented into this beautiful green environment. Okay, so today we're gonna use this model. The best way to work with IVs is to take uh, your piece of model aside, get the IV, optimize the IV, and then, and then bring it back to your model. Because IV is really heavy on geometry, so you really wanna keep it low as possible. Okay, in order to get your IV generator, it's a free plugin, you need to go to just type in IV generator for 3ds Max, the first link, Guruware. You'll be able to go here into IV, scroll down, there's a whole documentation here, and uh, click on download IV. <laughs> I was actually looking for that link for about 10 minutes in this website it's not really clearly positioned there anyways after downloading it you have to put it in your 3ds max plugin folder and then after launching your 3ds max you'll be able to find it in your panel right here guru where so click on the gwiv and auto grid we want to snap and let's go to our model this model is a little difficult because it's got those curvy angles that go under so it's kind of hard to find to place the ivy in order to let it grow but uh, let's put one here as you see it positioned at the back let's see if it grows yeah it grows okay so even though it's positioned at the bottom we still can grow it okay now uh, I did Ivy tutorial a few years ago and I got a bunch of comments that you can reduce uh, reset the age to zero and then you can go grow back again uh, what I was doing actually was deleting the IV and placing a new one because I didn't know this option exists but in any case let's play around with it so in order to grow IV we need to click to place the IV and click grow and see how it grows when we want to pause it we can pause it and that's our ivy right here now what I'm about to do is to play a little bit with those parameters so first parameter is a growth size this parameter will tell you how much is the growth goal of the ivy now if your parameters are low the ivy will not grow much so you have to increase the other parameters in order to let the growth size continue to grow uh, for example if I'll put here five and I'll stay with the same parameters and I try to grow it you see it doesn't grow much I have to adjust other parameters here such as a vector up vector I have to push it up a little bit so let's do 0.5 reset and click grow all right so we can see thanks to our up parameter up vector we're really pushing the IV to grow up now the next one is primary weight so if we increase our weight a little bit it will start spreading to the sides let's let's do 0.9 it's too much 0.7 it's also too much 0.6 Alright, so we can see some of it went to the side here, but eventually all of them continue to grow. Random weight. Random weight is the random weight of the branches. The next parameter. So let's reset that again and increase it here. Alright, so we can see that the random weight gave us some randomality in spreading the leaves, but still the up vector really pushing it up. 
So maybe we can reduce the up vector to about four and increase the gravity, the random gravity also to about four. Let's reduce that, click grow. Uh -huh. Here we go. This one grows a little bit better, more natural looking growth. Spreads more to the sides. And um, let's reset that again and go to the next parameter, which is gravity. Gravity will pull the branches down, so let's put two. Okay, so we can see that it actually pulled too much of the branches and it didn't let them grow up. So two is a little bit too much. Let's do 1.5. Grow. Okay, this is cool. So we can see some of them are going a little bit to the side. So maybe that's a little bit too much. So somewhere 0.4, 1.4. Let's reset it again and grow it. One point two still doesn't grow. So one point five was actually good because we have the primary weight adjusted and the random weight. So let's put point five back again. Otherwise, it will not grow. Okay. So this looks cool and we can see some of them it's not really sticky to the model they kind of start to go a little bit to the side adhesion let's check this parameter out and put one and let's see how this grows wow you can see it's really really full of very very dense so let's put 0.5, this looks a little bit too dense, start growing. Okay, this is not bad, still a lot of geometry, let's reduce it to 0.3 and grow, alright, this looks cool, it goes up enough pretty fast and it's got enough leaves and enough branches. The branches is actually a little bit too much. So let's do the add hands and, uh, distance, 10 centimeters, let's put 100 and check out the results. So we can see it's spreading a little bit too to the sides. It's getting the curves, but it's still going up. So it's getting more volume on the sides. Pretty cool parameter. Let's leave it at 100 centimeters. Branching the next one. Let's check this out. Put this on point one and reduce. So is the density of the branches. So point one, we can see that the branches are not very dense. So this is actually good. And just for comparison, let's put it point eight. Reset the age, click grow. Yeah, and you can see how much, how many branches we're getting here. A lot. Very, very dense. Too many small branches. So point eight is a little bit too much. Let's stay at point one. I think it was good enough. Let's reset and grow. Okay. So you can see it grows fast, it grows up, and it's not too dense. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. Uh, maximum length is how long your uh, branches will distribute. So let's see. give it a little bit longer distribution and see how it goes. So you can see the branches become really, really long and they don't really stop. So 20. Go. The default was 30. Let's see. With the 20, we can see the branches stop pretty fast. They don't go far. Let's grow again. So 10 doesn't really allow them to grow much further. 15. Let's see if 15 will grow a little bit further, but not that much. 
25. Yeah, so the default was 30, 25 is, is quite okay. Length variation. So let's try to play with a uh, different variation for the length of this of those branches. So let's put this to 50 and see how the long branch is working. You can see the branch is getting really long and a bunch of leaves on one branch. And let's reduce it to 10. See how this will affect. Yeah, we can see pretty short branches, which makes makes it pretty cool. Let's leave it at 10. Maximum parents is how many parents um, your branches will have. That means it will have one main branch, and then when it strikes to the side, it's going to be a child, and that's going to be a parent, and then from that child, it's going to open to another branch, so that's going to be another child, and that child will become a parent. So it will have that hierarchy of uh, the parenting. So 10 is the maximum. Let's see how it grows. Again, very dense. And one, you can see very, we don't get much children in this one. So we don't get much distribution or spreading with the branches. So let's leave it around three, four, which is a good parameter because it let us stay light. It doesn't let us to uh, overload the system and uh, we still get distribution of the IV. All right, the next one is the seeds here, is the variation. You can get different variation every time we change that number, we will get a different variation. Voila. Now, um, turbo grow. Boom. You see, super fast, really quick. And we got our ivy. We haven't even had a chance to see it grow. So, turbo, turbo grow is really fast growing um, method. Let's remove that and the next thing is uh, the meshes we can control our branches and leaves and that can be made after we grow our ivy so let's let it grow like that and now we can adjust the size of the branches how thick they are you can see this live view so let's put one centimeter one centimeter is pretty Thick branch so yeah let's leave it at 0.7 sides it's how many sides to your branch how accurate it is so the more sides your branch got the more round it will look but for me I'm gonna leave with I'm gonna stay with three sides because I'm pretty fine with that um, I don't need to have close-ups. If you have close-ups, yeah, definitely you need to have a really nice round branch, but from a distance, you probably will not see it. Next one is leaves. So leaves look a little bit too small, so we can also change their uh, the way they spread here, the seeds, how caustic they are. We can choose the size. Let's put here 12. And density, how dense it is. We can re make it really, really dense. Okay, so somewhere about 0.5 here will be good. Uh, what we can view and what we can render. So if the geometry is too high, we can always hide the branches and we can always hide the leaves. And there's a smooth parameter also. Textures. Use vertex, vertex colors. It's pretty cool. Gives us color variation. I like it. Uh, branches. 
rotation, twist of the branches, leaves. We can give material IDs here to the branches and the leaves, and we can break it down into old branch, young branch, and main branch. And those are uh, can be various with the color. So if the branches are thin, they're probably going to have maybe a little bit lighter color because or or the old branches that will get more dry from the sun so they will get a little bit lighter but uh, some healthy branches will have really strong dark color probably uh, good observation if you guys go and check out real ivies and um, take some photos and see how uh, the color changes in the branches and what branches young or old what the variation between them um, next one is leaf mesh meshes we can load here different meshes for the leaves if we want to change the leaves and presets we can save and load presets the presets that we have adjusted here if we like some uh, some grow parameters here and we want to keep it we, wanna, we can save it and we can load it misc scale iv parameters scale down set default values is the next one i never actually played with those extract grow splines so we can extract splines from here if we press the button to extract and then we can also distribute with 3ds max uh, leaves and attach them so this is how mainly uh, pro artists do their trees in 3ds max but um, we're not going to do that we're not going to extract anything because we're pretty much satisfied with whatever this plugin can produce and in about you can uh, click and go and check out this version in wooraware um, read the documentation and see how all the parameters here work pretty much i covered the basics but if you really want to go in depth you are more than welcome to visit this page all right so i'm gonna go and do some more ivies with the same parameters that i have just created and i'm gonna play around with it because i want to have variety in grow don't be afraid to delete or uh, remove ivies if you find a really nice grow so you can have cover the bigger the better and um, as you see here I've deleted my little ones because my system started getting overloaded it's good to have small portions if you really want to design it with the ivy then you do grow little ivies here and there and have better control but for bigger structures like this it's always better to just grow it massively all right so I've done growing my ivies here and now it's time to optimize it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna control a select all the ivies well first let's save it just in case we want to come back change something it's always good to have iv generated with all the parameters now what i'm going to do is i'm going to isolate all of that merge it all together Actually, I'm gonna use convert it into editable poly. Click attach, and I can start attaching my ivies, or we can do it in a list. So I'm gonna select all my ivies here. Click attach, and now when I have a solid model of everything, I'm going to apply it multi res modifier now we need to click generate if your uh, generator multi res taking too long what i recommend you is to go back to your original model and start treating every iv separately that's what i'm going to do i'm going to convert this into editable, editable mesh and i'm going to add it with the multi res now click generate and voila we got um, 
our multi resolution applied. Now we can start optimizing it by reducing the vertices amount. So you can see here, let me just isolate this. So the more I'm adding vertices, it starts to show up. So that's about 9%. I really would not recommend you to go over below 20%, let's say 40, someone there would be good enough. But however, we started losing this line, so that's not good. Let's bump it up to about 60%. In that case, we have all our IV lines. Okay, so uh, this is how you optimize your IVs. I'm gonna treat all of them individually. And after I'm done with the optimization, I can bring it in into my original model, all the heavy geometry, merge it in. And I also can convert it into proxy, V-Ray proxy. I can make a V-Ray proxy object or I can make it uh, display as box in order to uh, make it light for the previews. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't started using Ivy Generator, now's the best time. In this tutorial, I showed you all the options for growing the IVs. Uh, and optimizing them in order to use them in your renders. Okay, share it with your friends. In a few days, we'll launch in Photoshop for Architects, where I'm gonna go in more depth and show you some more free plugins to produce hyper-realistic exterior renders. Share it with your friends. This is Alex, your Mirai guy. Ciao.